What is happening guys? Welcome to part 29, making our way to the final boss in the game. Now before that, make sure you come back to here, run through the dialogue. If you talk to her, she'll mention how you now have the frozen tears, and that means that uh, Kuro can drink them and he'll be able to rest in her. Also, request some rice if you used it on the last fight, because if you thought the last fight was hard, whew, we got something else in store. So um, there are three fights in this game, which uh, I think people could debate are the hardest. Uh, we have Demon of Hatred, we have the Owl Father fight, and then we have Ishin Sword Saint, which is what we're about to tackle. Um, now this is essentially a four-phase fight. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on here. Um, as for tools, I would recommend bringing the flamethrower along, in particular the Okinagas. And the reason for this is while the Lazulite does damage, you notice it doesn't inflict burn status, and we want to be able to inflict burn status. So to that extent, Okinagas is great. Um, we're also going to reuse both the Sweet Rice Ball and the Fine Snow, but we're actually going to put on some oil just to make 100% sure that we light our target on fire. Actually, you know what? No. Well, maybe. Maybe. Anyway, um, aside from that, uh, this fight is going to involve fighting Genichiro first. He's uh, way of the Tome, except he now has the Dark Mortal Blade that we saw that lore thing about. Um, shouldn't be hard. I mean, it, it's basically just, you know, Genichiro all over again, except with now a, a Dark Edgelord Slash. And then we're going to go into the Sword Saint. So first we'll take out Genichiro, and then I'll discuss Sword Saint when we get to him. Uh, Ichimunji Double is still the best combat art in the game, I would suggest, for fights like this. So, pop the secret passage key. Let's head on in. Actually, I'm going to switch you up to Magnet. Uh, we're also going to pop an Akko Sugar before we get in here. Just to make things a little bit easier. Kurosawa. <laughs> しい狼を。ルイナ Don't worry. I'll take care of this scrub. But literally, same shit as before. It still has his uh his lightning. You can pop an eel liver if you're not confident about your lightning deflects. See, there's the dark slash. Just give him the good old double boop after when he does it. Should have carried his ass right there. Back in Ichiro, sit down. Like I said, this part should be just an easy, it's like you're slapping a child. You're like, sit down, go to your room. Now is where things get a little weird.
私はこのアシナをよみがえらせねばならぬ。セキロ虫を切るぞ参れセキロ Alright, so <clears throat> first off, don't ask me how he managed to fit inside of him with the sword and all the other bullshit he's about to pull out. But anyway, welcome to Ishin Sword Saint. So Sword Saint has three different phases. The first phase is going to be very similar to the Ishin fight we did to get the Shura ending, but he has a couple new weapon arts worked in. Um, we can still abuse the circle around double boop with Ichi Minoji. Uh, anytime he's lining up for the horizontal slash, as always, circle around to the left for easy damage. If you go to the right, you'll get hit. But that's really it for this phase. Uh, you can use the Okinaga's combo with oil here, but I would suggest focusing on the first phase and then using something like that for the additional phases. So. Let's jump into it. Now, one thing we're going to do before we go too much farther is run on over to here. The reason for this is, personally, I think it's just a lot easier fighting over here because when you're in the reeds, it can be a little hard to uh, see the swings as they're coming. So, that's the uh, attack I was talking about. You can just circle around. There's one of his new attacks. You actually get that art after this fight. Shit! Good Makiri. Oh, I missed on Makiri, but that's okay. Oh, man, did not circle far enough on that. Phase one is done. All right, now phase two, things get a little crazier here. When I say a little, I mean like your, your initial reaction here is probably gonna be, what the hell is happening? He's gonna pull a spear out of his ass. <clears throat> he's gonna pull a repeating pistol out and he still has his sword. Um, he's a bit more aggressive here. You got attacks flying all over the place and that's why I recommend the flame vent for this part. With the flame vent, you're able to um, effectively stun him up so he's gonna have a big ass thrust so be ready to drop makiris on that when he starts shooting you can deflect the bullets sword attacks are the same shit that we've dealt with until now that's the big ass thrust Ow, ow, ow. I'll pop the rice ball here. Got him on fire. Oh my god, I'm whiffing. I know what I'm doing wrong. Fuck me. I'm stupid. Forgot I had follow up. No, oh, wait, do I not have follow up? There it is. That's what I wanted. It's the final art that you can get to. Uh... Ow! Alright, so with our rice ball gone, go ahead and replace this with the fine snow. You go, Ishin! I got three reses, baby! This is happening. Phase three. He's going to get lightning. Other than that, same shit as before, except now you can do a lightning reversal.
Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Oh. Find snow. Oh shit. Shit, I got hit by shock. Yeah! Fuck yes, baby! Whew. And that is how you know what death run Sekiro. God, I'm flying high right now. Dragon Flash. So just to show that uh, new ability we got, it's pretty interesting. Actually, no, I don't have the. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. I don't have the the uh, things for it. Uh, so right over there is Kuro. But before that, to get all of our endings, we once again are going to do uh, save backups. So at this point, you're going to quit the game and back up your save and uh, just to cover that more in depth and because we're going to showcase all of the endings we're going to do one last episode plus i like the number 30 more than i like the number 29 so either way with the sword saint wrapped up the next episode is going to have some more in-depth instructions regarding backing up because it's very important here just as much as it was before but now even more so so stay tuned and we'll have one last part coming up soon